Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this is going to be on the Savage Hawkman issue number 1. I know that there's a lot of people that didn't read this book at all and I was like hey let me give it a shot you know I'm a big fan of Hawkman you know since the Justice League uh, animated uh, series and I wanted to get into his comic and see where does it go so they show us that Carter aka Hawkman you know he's trying to get rid of his costume and he doesn't want to be uh, Hawkman anymore you know he just want to get rid of it he want to live his life as just Carter but suddenly his uh, costume just uh, you know turned into flame and just kind of took over uh, the body of Carter and he just went unconscious later on we see uh, in, you know in the shining night research vessel we see that there are these people who discovered this alien ship work you know and that uh, Carter works actually for these people as a translator he translates different languages and uh, you know all that uh, alien stuff so of course they tried reaching to Carter or aka Hawkman but they never could reach him because he just found himself back at his home and he doesn't know what really happened or you know how all that happened to him but he you know started to get these flashbacks until one of his uh, colleagues came to check on him who's called Terence and he was like you know we are trying to reach you for a long time but you know you, you we couldn't reach you at all and uh, you know he got surprised actually that he got healed up uh, and later on we see him going back to his work to do some translation about this uh, alien ship that they found and they found this mummy right here and uh, they don't know what is it yet but uh, excuse me about that but uh, you know they are thinking that it's some kind of an alien and they took a sample of it of the mummy thing and it just kind of attacked one of these men that were walking there and uh, you know it just started to attack uh, these people there and of course uh, Hawkman or aka Carter he just kind of uh, fought them back until this weird thing started to happen to him and he started to get his armor uh, his neat metal back on his body and he just you know got into form into the Hawkman form which was pretty cool and pretty impressive so we saw one big fight between between Hawkman and uh, these creatures that I think so went by some kind of name in the end of the issue we learn about and I think it was called the Morphicus I don't know but it's pretty interesting uh, the Morphicus are some kind of uh, power suckers or something I don't know but he kind of took some of uh, Hawkman's power so this is a pretty interesting book and uh, I really want to see more of Hawkman you know I want to see where issue 2 is going to lead us it's actually 20 issues so hopefully I'm going to be covering all this in maybe one video or I'm going to be putting in them all in one uh, video so I'm going to see how I'm going to do it so yeah that's pretty much guys for issue number one Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this is going to be on the Savage Hawkman issue number 2 and this issue starts off with them showing us that Hawkman is kind of getting all flamed up against this Morphix and he's just fighting him back as, as strong as he could you know and we saw this whole uh, thing between them and how this Morphix actually he can control the neat method where Hawkman or Carter can't really control it since he's new to it and he didn't get really used to it while uh, Morphix is more advanced than him he's an alien he knows you know way more better ways to control it you know and just to take him down so eventually he lost the control on the neat metal and he just uh, you know lost the sight of uh, the other guy Morphix so Carter was just left alone until they take us to Manthana NLS headquarters this is some kind of a place where they're doing some weird experiments on some subjects and uh, you know later on we see that uh, Carter is just waking up from some kind of uh, unconsciousness and he finds himself home and you know we see how uh, he's suffering from all that uh, you know memory loss he can't remember much about it but in the end you know he gets this picture of these symbols where he tried to read uh 
what was on the spaceship of that uh, Morphex. So later on we see that the police are actually trying to talk to Carter and uh, you know take some f answers from him about what happened there until uh, we see that Mr. Hall or Carter just flew away until we see that they took us to another place where we see Morphex actually facing this guy who's called Walker and uh, you know he kind of took him down until uh, you know we see that uh, Carter is actually explaining how uh, the, the, the small fix guy or this alien just appear to be dead and uh, you know a minute he, he, you know he was a minute dead and the, the second minute he was just awake uh, something happened in the atmosphere you know maybe it was uh, the oxygen of earth he tried to you know see what these symbols meant until he kind of uh, so that he was some kind of a prisoner and uh, you know until he was going to be executed and there was that knock knock that happened and you know he got a visit from Emma and Emma is the doctor of the guy who he works for and we saw that Emma's kind of you know talking to him about him flying and being a superhero I don't know maybe she saw something maybe she's thinking about something else so later on we see that this guy the head uh, you know the CEO of this uh, NLS uh, headquarters Dr. Kane he kind of captured Morphix and uh, you know I think he gonna let him die because he's suffering already he can't uh, survive anymore you know uh, there's something really weird happening right here but we see that Walker's actually trying to save him he was like you know you shouldn't let him die you know he's one of the last survivors until uh, he just kind of got killed by uh, the assistant of Dr. Kane, and we see that Dr. Kane and his and her, her and his actually assistant, you know, uh, they're kind of one of these morphics. Uh, so I think he wasn't the only uh, survivor. And then we see that there's a mission going on that is gonna be the extension virus. So I'm gonna look forward to issue number three. It's really good, you know. So far, I really like it. Uh, I like the art. I like the writing. It's good they're going somewhere with this uh, story arc. So yeah, let's jump on into issue number three. Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one will be on the Savage Hawkman issue number 3 and this issue basically starts up with Carter going back to the crime scene where he kind of uh, figured out that these uh, you know symbols are you know atta attracting him they're just uh, getting him to ch to touch them with his neath metal until this thing opens up and uh, it shows us the hologram of someone and uh, you know they are talking about the Morphrix and about its uh, bloach hopefully I pronounced its name right and you know it has been released you know uh, it was never escaped it has never escaped but it has been released and someone actually released it but who we don't know and uh, you know we know that he is a vulnerable uh, monster you know he could be uh, killed he has a weakness so I think uh, Hawkman wanted really to know that until the whole thing just got self-destruction and he just flew away before it got hit him or something so later on we see that Morphix actually got captured by Dr. Kane and his assistant and later on we know that they're kind of killing him and not killing him more like if taking uh, parts of his body for some reason we don't know why but later on we see that Carter went back to Emma to talk to her until you know he asks her father about uh, if he did any interaction with the uh, alien ship and uh, he was like no I didn't uh, other than uh, Terence and he goes to find out uh, that Terence is actually one of these plods you know uh, he took him back to the place where he worked for and uh, you know we find out that uh, he's one of the ploges I think I think that's how they pronounce it of uh, Morphux and this big fight starts up between uh, Hawkman and uh, this lady lizard right here the assistant of Dr. Kane and later on we know that uh, you know this ploge just kind of emerged with Morphix or something. I don't know what actually happened there, but in the end we see that Morphix uh, is already, uh, you know, to take down uh, Hawkman again because he liked his Neath Metal, he likes his power and he just wanted all inside of him so the next issue gonna be the final uh, showdown I can't wait to see what how they're gonna end it. It's pretty interesting so far. Not bad. Uh, 
I think it's pretty cool. So I want to see where they're going with this uh, book. You know, so far so good. I like the art, and let's see where they're gonna go with issue number four and issue number five. So let's jump in into issue number four, guys. Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this is going to be on the Savage Hawkman issue number 4 and finally the conclusion to this story arc that has been going since issue number 1 and I can't wait to see how they actually did it and it was a pretty good ending I think so. So this whole issue starts up with Hawkman is kind of trying to take down uh, Morphix, this alien monster and so that he got assistant from uh, you know the assistant of Dr. Kane and uh, you know her name was Ascana and she she was this lizard I don't know what was she but she was a pretty strong woman right there we saw that he the, you know uh, Hawkman and uh, Morphox had one big great fight between them until uh, we see that uh, you know uh, Morphox started to talk about something called the Tangarian and it seems that uh, Hawkman doesn't know that he's a Tangarian or something but we saw that the plug are you know taking over and they are just getting more and more so later on we see that Dr. Crane is kind of freeing up weaker and trying uh, to uh, you know wake him up and to help him out uh, about uh, what happened earlier on in issue number three where the plug just appeared from nowhere so later on we see that uh, you know the assistant of Dr. Kane was so close to die because of these uh, plug until uh, Hawkman just rescued her and you know he asked her what do you think Dr. Kane is actually so she was like you know he's going up to the roof he's making his escape but he won't do it before he takes all the samples of everything he did so of course you know uh, they knew that uh, Morphix couldn't survive without a human body and he wanted to take uh, the Dr. Kane's body so he could survive you know for the moment and the moment he started to suck on his body Hawkman just appeared and he just kind of uh, took Morphox down he just beat the crap out of him until we reached a point that uh, you know we know what is the weakness of Morphox which was pretty interesting pretty cool the weakness of Morphox was uh, you know the cold or the ice or the water itself uh, it doesn't allow him to regenerate faster it just gets him uh, really slow to regenerate and you know he Aquaman just froze Morphox to eternity which was pretty cool and pretty interesting so I really liked it and uh, uh, later on we see that uh, Hawkman just got on Dr. Kane and uh, actually got on his uh, seat cause uh, on his uh, on his uh, suitcase but he never really cared about him I think he just let him die or something and I'm not sure what he did but in the end of the issue is what I really liked the uh, you know cliffhanger was pretty cool uh, Hawkman or Carter started to see these dead people and I think we're gonna be you know getting uh, zombies or dead people in issue number five so I can't wait to read issue number five and uh, thank you all guys for watching let me know what did you think of these all four first issues let me know did you like this book if you didn't try it, go ahead, give it a shot. You might like it, you might not, you know. Uh, you never know, just give it a shot. So, so, thank you all guys for watching, and see you guys around. Take care.